Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to evaluate summation k equals to 0 until infinity for summation of 3 different terms. We can use integration as a method to find the answer. However, before we find the answer, we better check such series is converged or diverged. Interestingly, integration is used in the conversion test as well. We first define function gx, where gx is equal to the all-ingenious series without the summation and change to k become x. We need to check if gx is positive for x bigger or equals to 1. Obviously, the answer is yes. Second, is gx continuous for x bigger or equals to 1? The answer is yes. Third, is gx decreasing for x bigger or equals to 1? We can find out about this by differentiate the function gx and check the slopes. As a summary, number 3 also yes. Since 1, 2, 3 are yes, we can do the number 4 which is integral 1 to infinity of the function gx. If there is a valid answer which means question q is converged. Please take note that this is not the final answer of the question q but rather convergent test of question. Now we confirm question q is converged, we can define function fx by adding x power something to the numerator. In this case, fx is equal to sum of k equals to 0 until infinity, x power 4k plus 1 divided by 4k plus 1 and then plus x power of 4k plus 3 divided by 4k plus 3 minus x power 4k plus 2 divided by 2k plus 1. Differential function fx give us summation k equals to 0 until infinity. First term is x power 4k. Second term is plus x power 4k plus 2. Third term is negative 2 multiply x power 4k plus 1. Let's consider the first term. It can be rewrite as 1 plus x power 4 plus x power 8 plus x power 12 and so on which is equals to a divided by 1 minus r where a is first term equals to 1 the r is common ratio which is equals to x power 4 therefore first term is equals to 1 over 1 minus x power 4 apply the same concept to the second and third terms we have a simplified f prime x equals to 1 over 1 minus x power 4 plus x power 2 over 1 minus x power 4 minus 2x divided by 1 minus x power 4. From here, we combine all three terms together and play some algebra such as partial fraction. So the f prime x can be simplified as 1 over x plus 1 minus x divided by x squared plus 1. This video is about calculus so I will not show the details of the partial fractions. From here, we apply album theorems. The answer of a convergent series to infinity can be found by integration which is equals to integral 0 to 1 f prime x dx which is equals to integral 0 to 1 1 over x plus 1 minus x over x square plus 1. This is integratable which is equals to natural log x plus 1 minus 1 over 2 multiply natural log x squared plus 1 for both x equal to 0 until 1. And then put in x equals to 1 and x equal to 0 into the equations. That brings us to the conclusion of this video. The final answer of this question is natural log 2 divided by 2. Thank you for watching my video until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.